Yeah, so what I'm going to quickly talk about here is generation quality between Zanussi. Now, okay, the very first washer I'm going to show you is actually a Trixie Bendix, which was actually still a Zanussi, or shall I say Electrolux, because that's who built them. And the, the simple matter is that there is a bit of a change in programming wise, but underneath it was just as a Zanussi Nexus for a damn sight cheaper. You just pay, pay, weren't paying for the for the brand basically. But everything for the Trixie Bendix is exactly the same for the Nexus at the time in terms of quality. So we're going to have a look at that first then. So if we come over, we're going to take a look at all aspects. Right, so we've got our switch gear. And even after all this time, it all switches on perfectly fine. And we've got our dial. Now, this is childproof because what he did was that this would turn back and forth. And it had this little indicator, but this actually isn't an indicator. It's just a little thing to release the actual dial. Because it's actually on the spring, and the idea was that you prevent children playing from it with it when it's uh, in use. Uh, you actually had, had to physically push the dial in and then turn the dial, and the actual marker is on the outside there. And we also have our uh, programs here. We got thirteen, weird, because as soon as you have fourteen programs. Uh, but some would only actually have 10. Um, but essentially, all these programs were always on this dial, regardless of whether they were actually listed or not. Because we've actually got some hidden sectors here. Now, there's nothing actually there in that sector, but there is somewhere there. And there's another program which I need to check out. And also, even though it tells you to, after on rinse hold, to go to either program 13 or number 7, if you just advanced it one after this, you'd have a, a spin anyway. So, it didn't really matter which you use. Um, but if you use that one, it wouldn't do, it's like unlikely to do an anti-crease at the end of that anyway. And the other thing is, if we turn it around to here, now this is more interesting, because actually, it's after that stop. And that first sector there has a pre-wash. And I've noticed on this, there, yeah, it's lost in this place. So you've got a pre-wash. Then advanced two, and you've actually got like a white nail on 60. And then a 50. And then we've just sort of got mixed fabrics at 50 there. And basically, it still allowed them to put third programs on it. And the idea was, that the higher models would have more private programs on it. Albeit, they're already there. You just didn't know. Right, so there's the Dremel. And it's pretty much exactly how you see it now. So we're going to release that. And we're just going to quick take a quick look at the actual drill. Yeah, it's exactly the same design even now, even today. Uh, you've still got this channel here, and we've got this one bit here. Um, if they wanted to turn the bleach, if they wanted bleach section, or uh, they could fill, turn that into a natural compartment. And if we look inside, I'm not kidding, after 20 something years, it hadn't actually changed. In fact, actually, the brand new, the latest Lindo series, um, some do come with the three compartments again, so it's still carried on using it. Right. That's very positive. Um, this bracket here, um, on the Nexus, you sometimes got a, there's a little hole there ready for it, um, the little door light. But, and this little plate would actually change. So inside, we've got this four and a half kilo drum. And we've got plastic drum paddles. And believe it or not, we've got a plastic outer tub, which is actually recyclable. 
Um, not many people know that. Uh, it's, a, it's a special composite. And we've got this door seal, which, to be honest, I'm not 100% keen on, because it would always hold water, can you see? It will drain out through those holes, but it would always hold water a little bit in there. And over time, it would actually create mould. And this door seal's pretty much been in use for quite a long time, but they did actually stop using it eventually. Um, uh, after around 2000 and something, so... Anyway... There was always play in this drum, so you can actually pull it forward, see? And that was the same for all of them. Even today, <laughs> actually, even with like little me, me own AEG, um, with the newer drums. So, and then finally we had the filter at the bottom. And what was good about this filter is um, you didn't need to actually drain it out. Um, if you're just cleaning it, watch, I'll just quickly show you. No water comes out. Now that's clean because I've cleaned it. So you, and then you can just put it back in again. So, quality-wise, these um, were pretty reliable. The only reason this one, uh, I've found most cases they got ditched because it would stop draining. But that wasn't because it was the drain pump. That was because it was a block filter. You just didn't know. That's the only problem on this machine. It just sounds a little bit uh, rough. But the actual, it's drum smooth, it just sounds like the bearing is slightly going, maybe. Anyway, so we'll take a look at generation after, well there was another generation after this, this is about 93, and uh, now we're on to 2001. Yeah, seriously, that's how old these are, and yet they still look fantastic today. So, Zanussi have taken the draw, and all they've done is actually change this bit. Um, it, the fabric softener compartment actually is now physically bigger because it ends up here rather than here. But other than that, those two compartments are the same. You push down to pull out, the actual compartment's the same as well. Of course, now we're into single selector uh, programs. Now this is the basic um, of the range. You had the Essential, you had the uh, Aqua Cycles, sorry, you had the Essentials, you had the Progress, and something else. But you, basically you've got, uh, this only had like 15 programs, that's it. But it was quite, at the time, quite sort of flexible for its money. These were about 330 odd quid. Um, quite pricey really, but you had effect variable spin, uh, you had a delay start of uh, 12, 8, 4 or 2 hours, and you had two indicators, washing or end. Now, I believe, yep, yeah, uh, my little Zanussi Aqua Cycles, which this is based on, actually didn't have the 12 hour, you just had 8, 4 and 2, but they had a further light to show you that the door was locked. And that was because some of these still came with the door a lot light through there. And the progress did that I had, which is the higher up model uh, with all button display. But anyway, so these still slot into place quite well. And the buttons themselves still work. Always a positive uh, spring back there. So we take a look inside. This door only opens 90 degrees. And uh, that was about 105. Um, the late, the ones with the same door as this, the later ones actually do actually open 165, so. So the door seal is pretty much the same. You still got these um, rubbers that sort of hold water. We've got plastic drum paddles still. 
Um, and we've actually got the same drum as that. You just didn't know it. Actually, it, it does look a little bit look bigger, but it's likely that they've caused more space within the actual porthole, so it's a bit weird. Um, right, the, the trouble with these door seals, as per usual, um, it does collect mould, so I wasn't too fond. The, um, they did actually change this very slightly later on, where you actually got a 6 kilo drum that was actual 6 kilo. It was pretty much the same, but it had a, an actual 30 centimeter opening um, to match the 30 centimeter opening door. And um, as well, the now move the filter down here. You had a pull out there to drain the water. However, you'd always need a, a tray or something when you try to fill, empty the filter. And the filter to get in and out again is actually pretty difficult this time. But they did leave this on here right up until about 2014 or 12, something like that. They use this design as well. So this cabinet, uh, this is actually all one sealed unit for some bizarre reason. They did change it so actually this front panel will come off um, to make access a lot easier. Right, the other thing as well is that this one actually, sorry, to go back to the old one, this has a split cabinet, which was horrible. And it has a plastic little base which connects the two bits. And the idea was that you could actually take one half the cabinet away to have really excellent, but it was a bit of a, it was too much of a faff really. This is, the fact that this is sealed at the front is a bit weird because actually they did, honestly, let's, even the same models, like wrong with that point six kilo, the actual upgraded drum, actually could come away, and they were pretty good actually. Um, this one just has a crack at the top now. But other than that, this it's made of the same stuff. Nothing's actually changed there. Right, so we're going to move on to generation two thousand and well two thousand fourteen now. And as you can see, the actual door design didn't change. It hasn't changed. Despite what you see here, even though there's a natural change in the door here, this did actually change um, at the same time as the drum. So it just did be, it actually morphed into this, and then it's been like this forever since. But if you notice, at least this isn't sealed in. However, this has a bigger problem. So... Now, these machines have gone from being made in Sweden, pretty much. It doesn't say there, actually, but sometimes it says it. And this TB, where does it say? It doesn't actually say. But these are made in the Swedish factory, in the Electrolux. Whereas this is made in Poland, so... Hmm. Anyway. The switch gear is no different, really, actually. There's still a positive push. Nothing really that special. And everything does work. And this drawer looks the same size, but when we open it, we find we've only got, yep, two compartments. There's no pre-wash. You put your powder detergent in there, and you put your fabric softener in there. And if you notice down here, there's a block gap. Yet, the exact same gap was where the fabric softener did go. Hmm. This is called Zanussi Aquafold technology. And there's no technology in it whatsoever. Basically, instead of having three compartments, it has two and one direct straight into the drum, bypassing this whole compartment. But instead of going to the back and down and into the drum, it comes through the top here. So that means all your powder detergent and all your liquid detergent gets thrown straight onto the door and ends up, if you're washing liquid detergent, ends up in the door seal. However, at least they've upgraded the seal now. They got rid of those uh, rubber niches, but 
The motor has become a lot louder. These two use the same motor, and it didn't change right up until really until this, this range where it come nastier. But the worst part about this machine is its drum. There's a paddle. And that's it, one paddle drum. And this drum is actually physically smaller than these two. Yet this was a four and a half kilo in this. So we've gone from four and a half kilo to six to six and yet the actual drum size has physically got smaller. So it's not actually six kilo at all. So this turn draws tiny now. And, yep, that's screwed on, and yet that still moves. During the spin, this rattles like buggery. And then, there's even something weirder here. There's rust. And that's live. Why is that live? Hmm. So we've got a washing machine that's live for some reason. And it's rubbish. How bizarre. So there you go. Three generations of Nisi. And we finally hit the worst of the worst. I actually particularly like that Tracy Bendix and the Nexus and stuff like that. And I actually learnt like these aqua cycles as about how basic they are. Natural progress is actually a lot better. They did bring out something called the jet system, um, with the Nexuses really actually, all the way back then. And they did actually modify it so the jet was at the front rather than over the top, which did make a big difference and it was an improvement. But then they got rid of it and changed it to Aquafall, which is actually a, a cheap word, which basically means we're cutting costs. It's horrifically bad now. Hmm. What's causing that to be live? Weird. Anyway. Hope you enjoyed that. The only thing I can think is uh, causing that to be live is... I don't know. Nothing should be causing that to be live.